Once upon a time, there was a man named Scott who bought and fell in love with a school bus. He named it the Piston Girl. They shared many an adventure with friends to Mexico and other fun places until it got old and cranky. With more adventures planned, Scott found a newer bus, cheap on Craigslist. It looked and ran like new. So with the help of his beautiful girlfriend, he traveled to the foreign land of Bellingham, brought it back to Kanukistan. Scott and Steph live on Vancouver Island, a magical yet somewhat delusional land. With paperwork, new tires, and inspection completed, they brought their yellow treasure home. Because they had left this to the last minute, they only had a week to transform this trusty school bus into a motorcycle carrying adventure rig. Blessed with the help of many magical friends, the seats jumped from the bus. Some painting was done, then bunk beds were fabricated for six sleeping beauties to lay in comfort while rolling down the road. With hoarded surplus seats ready and waiting, custom brackets were created to allow for seven dwarfs. Running out of time, work ran late into the evening and remaining weekend. No luxury or detail was overlooked. Knowing many trip miles would be covered at night, magical lights would be needed and fitted just right. With just moments to spare, the ramps were deployed and toys loaded inside. It's Hula Girl waiting, the bus would depart for mysterious Moab with eight riders on board. She was smooth and quiet. Morale had never been so high. Mexico would follow just a month later. Clearly more must be planned. But fate would turn and a virus would keep us all home. And that's exactly what this bus would become for two years. Yearning for more than a stationary life, the bus would see its wish granted this summer with two trips to the mainland. Our enduro adventure and a trip to the Rockies, our best content yet. With our story told, it's time to meet our friend. So come along for a tour of the Trojan Horse, soon to be our crazy chicken bus. Welcome to our bus. Let's take a look inside. So here we're in the cockpit area, which is fully stock. We haven't changed anything. Uh, we've got a great sticker wall. Who doesn't love some good stickers, right? Uh, here we've got seating for seven people. So these are third row seats out of a Chevy Tahoe uh, that we managed to get. They're really comfy. And then they also do fold flat if you ever needed to use them as a workspace or even someone can sleep on top or whichever. All right, and as we come further back, you'll notice these wooden walls here, which are made with reclaimed wood that our friend James gave us. And then we have some little cup holders and power ports. And then we do have some USB powered LED stripping on either side uh, along here. Um, here we've got our sleeping quarters. We have four permanent bunks along here. Uh, they're over six feet long. They're really comfy. We've uh, made these little hold on to help get you up into them. Uh, so yeah, we have one, two, three, four here. And then uh, we had to buy this wood and our buddy Jammer, which you've maybe seen in some videos, helped us make these, which are great. Behind this next door, we have our nature's head composting toilet. Uh, which mainly is just for on the road or late night peace. And then here we have cubbies, which do turn into bunks five and six while we're on the road and rolling. So we've got wood that falls into these areas here and that completes the bunk. And then while we're rolling also, we drop in wood panels here, like a bulkhead to fully close off the garage. 
So this is the garage, um, also the master suite, depending on the configuration. So we have our master bunk in the back where Scott and I sleep. And then on the side, we have two flip down bunks here. So these are up when the bikes are inside. And then these become bunk five and six if everybody is sleeping in the bus. Uh, we've also turned it into an office at this moment. And then this door here is the emergency exit that we load the motorcycles into. We hope to have a proper ramp uh, like our other big bus has. Then uh, this bus also has roof hatches, which are really handy um, to get some airflow going on. Uh, we've got some straps just because we have our Starlink <laughs> strapped up to it right now so it doesn't get blown away. And then there's another emergency door there and we have an emergency exit out the back as well. But yeah, it's pretty basic, uh, slightly configured school bus, essentially. Well, love, do you want to explain what is going on? Uh, well, we're feeling uh, Spanish and uh, colorful. So uh, we're going to finally bite the bullet on this and uh, we're going to throw some color at the bus. Again, it, it's not the finished uh, idea, but we have to start doing the groundwork. So we're going to lay some extra colors on it, and then we're going to go out and get uh, somewhere along the trip. We're going to find some bling. We're going to do some bling on the bus. We're going to do some lettering on the bus. Eventually, it needs to have uh, a roof basket put on the bus and some additional lighting and stuff. But for right now, we're just going to start with some colors. And uh, we're going with this lovely uh, watermelon orange, uh, red. Sorry, we're going with some red. And then the next color, we'll just we'll let you see that as it goes on the bus. Uh, so we've got a bunch of painting supplies we just picked up in town, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just go at it. Well, the painting continues. Let's take a look where we've gotten so far. So the front is done. Looking good down the sides. How's it going, love? It's going. It's actually moving pretty quick. Yeah, I thought it was a lot better than it is. Probably because you got an early start with Guy's breakfast call. Yeah. And I'm starting to tape up this side and prep that. So we'll definitely be done the red today. Well, the end of day one, we got uh, the chrome outlines back in front and both sides done in the back. Tomorrow will be another day. Uh, well, I've finished with the red paint and now I'm going to start uh, a little bit more. I've just about finished all the painting. It's gone really, really well. I'm kind of stoked. It even gave the bus some slides uh, and uh, the, we put some silver paint down on the wheels and uh, it turned out really, really awesome. What do you think? Really good? Yeah. Only in Mexico at nine o'clock at night will you have people coming out to vinyl wrap the side of your bus. But yes, here in Mexico that actually happens on a Saturday night. We were kind of skeptical if they were actually gonna arrive. And here 
is the beginnings of the work. Yeah, Lobo's passed out on the chairs. 